Hey guys, it's Lindsay and welcome back to my channel and to another plan with me. So this is for the week of October 14th through the 20th and I'm using the Stolen Wings kit from Glam Planner. I believe this is a kit from last year that she released and I wanted to use it for the week of Maleficent 2 coming out. I didn't actually see Maleficent 2 but I figured it would be a good kit to use that week and of course obviously came out in October so that is why we are using that kit and because it has really pretty hollow foil on the full boxes and the washi which is just really pretty like it's already built into the kit and it's just gorgeous so um, I did use some hollow washi from Simply Gilded which just again adds to the amazing gorgeousness of this kit and um other than that, everything is the basic normal stuff, so I will answer a couple of questions while I can. Um, so Ashley Murphy asks who my favorite Friends character is. Funny enough, my favorite Friends character is Rachel, which I feel like is always the favorite. Um, I do really like Phoebe as well, but I think Friends, or Friends, I think just Rachel is kind of the most relatable to me. So she is actually my favorite character. Um, let's see. Kimmy Plans said, I have trouble with a lot of pens too. I think it's because we're left-handed, which brings me to my question. What is the most annoying thing about being left-handed? She said hers is writing in spiral notebooks. Girl, I feel that. Also, writing in binders are obnoxious. I can't. Um, but I think my least favorite thing was the desks in school. Um, so when I was in college or in university, um, they always had the little tiny little mini desk and they were always for right-handed people. They were never for left-handed people and I think that was my biggest pet peeve. That and scissors. Scissors never work properly for you when you are left-handed. Just saying. Um, and then, um, Tracy Stano, who was the one who asked me about talking about more about my dream job in the last plan with me, she also asked, can you do a video on how you go about pulling your stickers for spreads? So in um, parentheses, she said pre-planning. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty positive I have a pre-planning video already up on my channel. I actually kind of want to look at this because I think I do already have one up on my channel. I'm actually going to search it really quickly. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I think I do. Let me see. Hold, please. Oh, if I can type things in correctly. Because I think I uploaded one. I did. Okay, so I uploaded one two years ago, which I believe this is still probably pretty similar. I'll have to go back and actually watch the video. But I did... Um, upload a, pretty, a video that says how I pre-plan for my plan ahead plan with me's. So these are plan ahead plan with me's. So I haven't um, updated this for my memory spreads. But I think it's pretty similar still. I don't think I changed very much. It's just there's more stickers that I pull. Um, but even the little like notebook type thing that is in that video. I can see it like in the thumbnail. I actually still use that. So um, go check that video out. I'll have it linked down below. And if I can remember I'll have it up in the cards. Um, but... Yeah, I did already do a video for that, but I might do an updated one if it's super crazy different. And then she also said, I promise I'll get into the plans. She also said, um, what are your hopes, what are you hoping to get for Christmas slash giving for Christmas? Um, so I am actually not giving a ton of stuff this year purely just because of budget issues. Unfortunately, I would love to spoil my family, but unfortunately I just am not able to. Um, but I am giving them a couple of things that I think they will really, really like light like um like I actually give my mom a planner the same planner like every single year um I get her an Erin Condren planner every year which fun fact I kind of got her onto the Erin Condren bandwagon she just doesn't use stickers or anything like that um I tend to end up getting my brother and my dad like clothes and stuff and then my sister actually is a very meaningful thing which I'm not gonna mention it because sometimes she watches these videos not very often but just in case if for some reason she does watch it I'm not going to mention what I get her, so, but it is a very kind of cool gift. And then she said, what are you hoping to get for Christmas? I am hoping to get a new desk chair. If you guys ever hear my hauls, every now and then you can hear my desk chair squeak, and it is the most obnoxious thing, and I am excited to hopefully get a new desk chair. And what was the other thing that I wanted? Oh, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire illustrated book. Those were the two things that I, like, absolutely wanted, and I, like... Those were my only two things where I was like, I need these, and so hopefully I get those. But other than that, I didn't really have anything major that I des desperately wanted. So thank you to those of you who answer, who asked the questions. Um, 
If you guys, again, I keep mentioning this in all my plan with me's. If you guys have any questions, please let me know and leave them in the comments down below. Okay. Moving on to the actual plans, because Monday is almost already completely filled out. Um, so at the top of Monday, I put down a quarter box and then an emoji that has like some floss and some teeth to mark that I had a dentist appointment at 10 o'clock. And then I needed some coffee because I was tired because y'all know me, I sleep in because I work really late. So having to get up for a 10 a.m. dentist appointment is obnoxious. So I used a munchkin with a coffee cup to mark that I needed coffee. And then I used a fox and cactus pastel haired girl to mark that I cleared out some of my makeup drawers. Um, lower down on the bottom of Monday, Monday? Wow, why did I say Monday? Oh my gosh. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and move on Tuesday and then I'll tell you the rest of Monday. This sounds a little weird, I know, but I, that way we're at least relevant to what we're watching. So, on Tuesday, I put down the work label and then it was my friend Victoria's birthday. So I used a half box and a Scrubble Prince Co. balloons and a munchkin that says happy birthday to mark her birthday. Um, the party that I was getting the Lola Bunny costume for was actually for a surprise birthday party for her. So, um, it was actually her birthday on this day and then I think it's the next spread that was her actual, like, birthday party. Because it wasn't this one. I believe it was the next one. So, um, she did have a birthday, like, a surprise birthday party, like, a week later. But, um, this was her actual birthday, which was pretty cool. And then underneath that, I took a munchkin with a shirt to mark that I needed to fold my laundry. Also, guys, I got new pens in the mail and I didn't have a problem with them at all and it made me so happy. So I'm back to my Normal Uniball Signal Signo pen and I'm so happy about it. Okay, I'm gonna talk about Monday really quickly. So I used a nap sticker that is from a Once More With Love sleeping sheet to mark that I took a nap and then I had a YouTube binge because, gee, what a surprise, Lindsay had a YouTube binge and played The Sims. No one's surprised at all by that. So I used a munchkin to mark the YouTube binge and then a fox and cactus girl to mark that I played The Sims. And then I did do some laundry also, so I used another fox and cactus pastel haired girl for that. Okay, moving on to the bottom part of Tuesday. Sorry, I know it's a little out of order, but I wanted to answer those questions. Um, so... I put down another fox and cactus girl. This one is with glasses to mark that I wore my glasses. I did not wear contacts on this day, which is very rare for me, especially on days with work. Like, if I'm off and I need to go run errands or something, I won't put contacts in. I'll just wear my glasses and be totally good. But usually when I work, I don't tend to go with my glasses. I usually will wear contacts. So, um, it was a little relevant for me to mark. And then underneath that, I took a Scribble Prince Co. hollow icon to mark a CVS run. And then I did get the pumpkin cream cold brew, which is the best drink on the planet. I'm so sad that fall is over because I can't get this anymore. And I'll admit the Irish cream cold brew is not as good as the pumpkin cream one. Like, oh my god, the pumpkin cream one is great. And I'm so sad because I can't buy it anymore. But I used a munchkin to mark that. And then I used a wonton in a million, um, steamy that's just shrugging to mark that I was really bored. Um, the Halloween party nights for me were actually a very boring time. Um, I didn't have a lot of stuff happening over where I work, so, um, it was just, I don't know, it was just really boring for me. So <laughs> I marked that I was really bored. Moving on to Wednesday. So I used a bill due, um, from the kit to mark that I had to pay my care credit card, um, which my care credit is the um, care credit that I used to pay for Bailey's surgery because she did have surgery in, I think it was June, July. Oh my gosh, how long ago was that? I think that was a while ago. I think it was, let's see, I think it was July because it was right before we went on vacation. I'm like looking through my planner because I'm curious. Um, it was, it was July 9th. Yeah, so she had surgery, so I used a care credit card for that. And then it was finally sweater weather, which means it was finally cold enough to not be full-on sweating in the middle of the day when you're wearing a sweater. So I used a munchkin in a sweater to mark that. And then I did have a little bit of a filming day, so I used a filming slate icon from Scrub Prince Co. and a film script. I think it's also from Scrub Prince Co. to mark that. And then... I needed to record a voiceover, so I used a munchkin that is technically a podcast munchkin, but I like using it because it has a microphone to mark recording my voiceover. I did go to TJ, T, words are hard, TJ Maxx and Home Goods on this day, so I used, again, more munchkins to mark both of those. My TJ Maxx looks a little weird, but you know, it's okay. What can you do? And then um, I spent so much money, like, I, did I actually spend that much money? I don't know if I actually spent that much money, but I apparently t put a munchkin down that says take all my money, so I 
must have spent a decent amount of money for that for me to write that down. And then I did watch Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, so I used a another munchkin. Gee, what a surprise. I used a Harry Potter munchkin to mark that. And my writing is not the best at that, so just don't look at it. Just 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 don't don't look at it because the bottom part of that was really hard to write on. And yeah, you see nothing. You we're just going to move on. We're going to flip it pretty quickly as soon as I'm done, right? Right? Nope. Nope. Still not flipping it. Ah, we're still coloring it in. Oy, now I've caught up and I'm like, okay, now what? Come on, flip it. Flip. There we go. Okay, moving on to Thursday. So I put down again the work label because Lindsay works all the time and it's ridiculous. Um, but I put down the work label and then I use a piece of washi from the kit and the payday script that came from the little hollow sampler that came with this kit. Um, so I used that to mark my payday. I'm like staring at this hollow foil right now and oh my god it's beautiful. Ugh, I'm obsessed. Guys you have no idea how I obsessed I am with this foil right now. Like even like the bottom washi foil is so pretty. Like ugh. Why is this so pretty? Oh my god, okay. Anyway, sorry, got distracted. I'm like staring at my planner like, ugh, obsessed. And then I put down a bill due to mark the Simply Gilded subscription, which I think, I think that was my last Simply Gilded subscription that I paid for because I did cancel my subscription because I bought a new car and we're not allowed to have all the nice things. We can only have some nice things, not all of them. So, I kind of had to start putting away like money and stuff for my car payment so that is why I had to cancel my subscription but it's okay. Um, moving down underneath that I took a Mandy Dreams filming slate to mark that I published a plan with me and then I used a home icon to mark that I, hang I hanged, hanged is not a word, I hung a new print. Um, so I actually bought like a new print from Home Goods, and I did hang that in my room um, which is really really cute. I actually really want to like redo my room. But it's so much work, and I'm definitely not going to be doing it during Plan Miss because I'm already behind on these videos, and I really, 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 really need to catch up. But I promise, all these videos will go up before Christmas. Like, I am determined to make sure that all these videos go up before Christmas. Like, that is my goal. I'm really hoping it happens because I only have six days to get up, like, ten videos, I think. Something like that. But it is my goal. I promise. No. I very, very strongly advise. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I have no idea. I digress. I'm moving on. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to get all of them up. I promise. And then I'm trying to get them up. I prom I'm promising that I'm trying to try to get them up. I'm not actually promising that I will get them all up. There we go. That works. Okay. Moving on. Um, underneath that, I took a munchkin uh, to mark that I started making Christmas gift lists. So it wasn't my Christmas gift. It was more the Christmas gift list for everyone else like all the different gifts that I need to purchase. I also really need to wrap gifts because they're all just chilling in my room right now and I'm like I have so many things just scattered about my room and I really need to start wrapping some things and clean but again don't really have time for that. It's fine. And then underneath that I took a another icon to mark that I need to transfer some money. Moving on to Friday. So I put down a work label and then I used another icon because we love some hollow icons. And I used that to mark that I needed to paint my nails. And this is actually exciting because I put down a half box and a glam planner uh, but Bibbidi and Boo to mark Jane the Virgin. That was the first time that I watched Jane the Virgin, which is exciting. Um, a lot of you guys are like, wow, took you long enough? Or like, wow, you've never seen Jane the Virgin? No, no, I had not. Um, this is the first time that I've ever seen it, and I'm really, really, really um, happy that I finally watched it. Um, I am a little behind on it still. Like, well, obviously the season or the series is over, but I have only watched up to like season three. So please, no spoilers in it. I'm still watching it. I just took a small break when Disney Plus came out, and then I haven't like caught up with it because again, watching like Christmas movies and stuff now. So I've been watching other things instead of that. But I promise I will be going back to it. But Everyone was right. It's a really good show. And I just, I finally jumped on that bandwagon. I still have yet to jump on the Game of Thrones bandwagon. Like, I haven't fully watched that yet. I did watch a couple episodes, but I haven't fully watched that yet. So, we're still not on that bandwagon. But I did jump on the Jane and the Virgin bandwagon, and I love it. So, yeah, we watched Jane the Virgin. And then underneath that, I took a paper and milk um, iPad sticker to mark that I draw it on my iPad, that I drew on my iPad. Wow, words are hard. This is fine. Um, but I did um, do a little bit of drawing. I'm not an artist by no means, and I was just kind of messing around. So 
it was just a way to release some stress. And then I did have to get gas, so I used an icon, again, from Scroll Porn's Code to mark that. And I used a heart icon also to mark that I made a new Spotify playlist, um, which is always exciting. And because I made a new Spotify playlist, I made a Disney playlist. So because of that, we had a Disney concert in the car on the drive home. So I used a quarter box, and then it was only fitting for me to actually use Maleficent in this spread because obviously, like I said, I didn't go see the movie but I still wanted to use this kit even though it's not like super relevant because I didn't actually see the movie, but I still wanted also to use Maleficent in this kit um, or in this spread. So I did use her to mark my Disney concert in the car, um, which was really fun. Um, it's all like the amazing like normal Disney songs that you think of. So like Part of Your World, um, Reflection from Mulan, like Colors of the Wind, Beauty and the Beast, like all these great Zero to Hero. Mm. That one's a good one. But it was like all these really great Disney songs and Disney classics and we were just singing them and I was, ugh, it made me happy. Moving on to Saturday and Sunday, I did put down the weekend banner, which again is in that hollow foil that came from that hollow freebie. And then I put down the work label on Saturday and a piece of washi and a sleep-in sticker that is from Station Stickers because I did sleep in a little bit on this day. Um, the... Uh, what's it called? The uh, Halloween parties were kind of exhausting because they were um, open a little bit later and so I needed like extra sleep I feel like during this Halloween season purely just because of that because it just it felt like it was so much longer even though it was only an hour later it just I don't know it made me more tired than normal. Um, but yeah I did sleep in on this day and then I used another icon from School Prince Co. I don't have any hollow washing machine icon so I just use a star to mark that I needed to wash my costume and then I did pack an overnight bag um so I used an emoji with a little um like packing up a suitcase to mark that and then I went to El Pollo Loco for lunch so I used an emoji with a taco again to mark that um, after that I used a car icon because I needed to drive to my brother's house because I was actually babysitting his daughter um, this night. So it was kind of weird because I went to work and then I got off of work at midnight, drove to my brother's house at like 1am and then I had to babysit from like 3 to like 6 or 7 I think it was like 6.45 or so, um, which sounds like a weird time frame, but my brother had to go to work early and then... Um, the mom had to, um, she had to, like, she was still at work, and so, like, there was an overlap to where, like, the two of them weren't together, um, and there were, like, one of them couldn't be with the baby, so, um, I ended up babysitting for, like, three hours in the middle of the night. It was just weird. It was just a weird, like, situation, but we did it. Um, so I put a half box down, and I finally got to use the little cute baby sticker for Once More With Love. So if you guys saw my haul, that is why I got those baby stickers, uh, because I did babysit her, and she's just the cutest little ball of chunk, and she's only four months old, and she is so cute. Um, but yeah. So I did babysit on this day, which is always exciting. Moving on to Sunday, I put down a work label, and then I used a Mandy Dreams film slate to mark that I published a plan with me. And then underneath that, I marked that I got zero sleep because I literally did get zero sleep. So I used a Insomnia Munchkin to mark that because I was so terrified. Like, I, it's been a while since I've babysat, a, like, a child, let alone, like, a newborn. And so at this time frame, she was only, like, three months, I believe. Um, and I was so terrified that I was going to sleep through her crying. And I was like, I'm going to, I'm going to, like, I'm so tired. I'm going to pass out and I'm never going to, like, I, I'm not going to wake up when she needs me. Like, oh my God, I'm going to freak out. Um, but it was fine. Everything worked out. But because I was semi freaking out, I wasn't like freaking out, like crazy freak out. It was more of just like, oh no, what happens if I don't wake up type situation. Um, but because I got zero sleep, um, I, or because I was worried about that, I got zero sleep. I did sleep for like maybe an hour or so, but let's just say I was extremely tired on Sunday, but I got zero sleep. So I used the munchkin to mark that. I then put off a, put down a squared half box, um, and an arg munchkin to mark that my check engine light came on. So you guys know that I got a new car. There's a couple times that my check engine light came on and a couple of things that had led up to me getting a new car. And one of them was my check engine light. So my check engine light came on I think twice they actually looked at it the first time so this is the first time with it popping on and they were like 
well, like, we're not entirely sure why, like, we think it might be your thermostat that's causing the problem, so, like, just keep an eye on it, like, keep an eye on, like, your temperature gauge to make sure that, like, you don't see it crazy fluctuate or anything. And it worked fine for the most part, like, they reset it, they the check engine light turned back off, and then I think it was, like, two or three weeks later it turned back on again. So, um, actually, wait, it wasn't even two or three weeks, because I bought my new car November, like, 4th? And this is halfway through October. So I think it was maybe like a week and a half or so and then it turned back on again. So it was to the point where it was just, I was needing a new car because my car had gotten so many miles on it. The check engine light kept popping on. I had a tire pressure sensor light. My ABS light was on. It was just a hot mess. Like my whole entire car was just a hot mess. And I loved that car. It was my first ever real car. I actually had a 1990 Cadillac for two years in high school. And that one then went kaput, um, but I loved my Focus. It was my first ever car that I ever had, and I was just obsessed with it, obviously. Um, but it was time to get a new car. Obviously, I'm not even in that spread yet, but my truck engine light came on. That's where we're at. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of things wrong with it and everything, but this was just the start of it. And then underneath that, I took a um, coffee cup that is from Barney and Moon to Mark and Duncan Coffee. And then a half box and a little emoji wrapped up in a blanket to mark that I took a nap because, gee, what a surprise, I was exhausted so I needed to sleep. And then I used a little thumbs up munchkin to mark that I made it through my shift, which was always an accomplishment because I was so tired. So, that is going to be everything for this plan with me. I'm going to flip through what's left in the kit. I actually really like how this plan with me turned out. I always tend to do one pastel Halloween spread. And it was this one and I just, I really like it. I really like all the foil. And I love the hollow and I think it just, it looks very, very pretty and nice and I'm obsessed. I'm going to do a little bit of a wiggle for you guys. It's kind of hard to see the hollow because hollow is always so hard to record or like to have it pop up on camera. But I think it turns out, or it turned out pretty good. Wow, we are struggling right now with words. But I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me. If you did, as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already. Leave me some kind of comments down below. I promise I will be getting every single video up before Christmas. They just might not be on time, but I promise they are all coming. <laughs> but um, I will see you guys in another video either tomorrow or hopefully sometime soon. Hopefully. We'll see. Bye, guys. <laughs>